The target filter feature is a really useful feature in iDrum Tune for occasions where the drum gives off one frequency much more powerful than the other, so the centre frequency or the edge frequency. And sometimes when we want iDrum Tune to measure the edge frequency, it still actually picks up the centre frequency the most powerful. And this occurs often with shallow drums and snares, mainly because the two drum heads are so close together that that fundamental is so well coupled that sometimes it's not easy for the app uh, or even our ears to pick up the overtone frequency and so obviously if this is difficult for the app then it's even harder for our, our hearing so uh, so it's a really valuable feature in order to tell the app which frequency to look for and in that way it can actually be really accurate in most cases more accurate than 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 human hearing so here's a good example of that um, if I go into pitch tuning mode and take a reading of this drum in the center it's 192 Hertz. Well, if I go to the edge and take a reading at the edge, I see that's 294.5 Hertz. But actually, if I go around the drum, every now and again, it can't pick up that higher frequency, the 294 Hertz. It keeps picking up, it keeps picking up the, the fundamental. So in this instance, especially when I'm lug tuning, I want to tell it to ignore the fundamental and to only look at the overtone, the F1. So if I just go into spectrum analyzer mode, this is a really good way to, to look at it. Um, so let's take that reading at the center. Hundred and ninety one hertz. And let's take the reading at the edge. 289.5 Hertz. Now you can see those two peaks are still really quite high. They're both both quite high. And in some cases, even though I hit at the edge, it still thinks that I'm interested in the fundamental. Well, I can force it to actually say uh, with the filter to say ignore the fundamental and only look at the uh, the high frequency. So let's take that reading again. And now I'm going to switch the filter mode on. I'm going to say firstly we can set the filter mode to look at the fundamental, or we can set the filter mode to look at the overtone. And so by using the filter mode, we can tell I drum tune which frequency to pay attention to. So let's do that in look tuning mode. I'm now going to oh, switch that off. I'm going to look tuning mode, set to 10 lugs, because I've got a 10 lug snare, and I take a reading. And annoyingly, it's come up with the fundamental 190 and not the overtone. But if I hit the filter, first it loads the fundamental, but if I hit it again, it now picks up the overtone. So now I know that from here onwards, it's going to analyze the overtone frequency. So now it's accurately looking at the F1 overtone, it's ignoring the fundamental. And that's something our ears can't actually do. Our ears can't say, oh, ignore that part of the sound, but not that part of the sound. But an app and some digital technology can say, well, actually that frequency isn't of interest. So I'm only gonna look at the higher one. So just to look at that again, there we go. We've filtered in around that, high, that, that higher frequency. If I turn the filter off, you can see that the fundamental is there. That would be centering around the fundamental, centering around the, the overtone F1 or off. And this applies exactly the same in pitch tuning mode. So actually, if I take a reading at the center, 191 hertz correctly. But if I take a reading at the edge, 289, let's try again at a different place. So this time it's not picked up the overtone, but again, if I use the filter, you can see it actually does have that value in there, 290 hertz. And so next time I take a reading, it's, it's ignoring the fundamental now and it's only looking at those frequencies higher.